Motion Moments Infants shows you a few simple ways to weave physical activity into your current early care and education program in a center or family child care home. People everywhere are talking about the obesity problem in America and the health problems associated with obesity not only impact adults but our children. As a caregiver, you are in a special position and uniquely qualified to help children develop healthy eating and age-appropriate physical activity and limited screen time viewing habits to help them avoid childhood obesity. Physical activity and movement are essential to help children gain new skills and enhance their development as well as their social and emotional well-being. Infants are completely dependent on their parents, caregivers, and teachers for opportunities to be active. For many years, the American Academy of Pediatrics has said, back to sleep and tummy to play. Here are just a few ways to encourage infants in your care to move and play while awake and playing on their tummies. You are on your stomach looking right at the baby. Make eye contact, smile, talk and encourage the baby to keep his head up and move his arms. Place the object so at least some effort is required to touch it. At first, babies may fuss or struggle and be uncomfortable in this position. Yeah, all done. Yeah, are you all done? If you give the babies in your care a chance to be in this position for a short time every day, or even several times during the day while awake, they should be able to tolerate this activity for longer and longer periods of time. Tummy time helps build babies' muscle strength and prepares them for being able to slide on their bellies and then crawl and eventually walk. It's important to provide frequent position changes for the babies in your care. Moving them from one position to another or one place to another with a few different toys provides a whole new world for your babies to explore. You can encourage and direct sub movement for your babies even if they can't get very far on their own. While smiling and talking to the baby, move the baby's legs in a bicycle motion. Try to get the baby to continue the motion even after you stop moving the legs. After the leg movement, gently stretch the baby's arms up and over his head and then down again, once or twice. As you reach for a nearby toy, put the toy within easy reach and give praise when the object is touched. You might even sing a little song to the baby during this activity. Push. Kick those legs. Kick them. Kick them. Stretch. There you go with your legs. Stretch. As a caregiver, there are times when you need to interact with adults who come into your room. And yet care for the children remains your priority. Notice how the caregiver is able to engage with the adult, continuing to pay attention to the child, encouraging movement from the child, and making the child the center of attention. Giving babies opportunities to move is critical to their overall health, early brain development, and development of social skills and motor skills, and the maintenance of a healthy weight. How have these motion strategies changed the children's day? Oh, the children are so happy when they're able to move around and explore the environment. Can and should these strategies be used with children who have special needs? Yes, of course they should be used with children that have special needs because those children need that as well. They need the physical activity. All children need physical activity. And sometimes we may have to adapt some of the activities, but all children should be able to have that opportunity. Does it take additional funds to implement these strategies? Um, for us, the simplest things are just things that we use in the classroom that are free. How have you involved the parents in your movement activities? 
by modeling behavior, having them come come in and see me being silly with the kids, see me running, um, see me crawling after them on the floor. I think that alone kind of eases the parents into, oh, this is okay. Um, this is something that's appropriate. You know, they do it at their school, then it's okay to do it at home as well.